Welcome to this Australian Earth Science Education video about partial melting. We are going to model the partial melting of minerals that occurs in the production of magma. You will need some different types of lollies, an empty bowl, a spoon, a probe thermometer, and a microwave, which is not shown here. We will measure the temperature of our model minerals as they soften and fully melt. Marshmallows are soft at room temperature, so be sure to record this temperature before you start. Set aside a sample of each of your model minerals. Mix the remaining lollies in a microwave-safe bowl. Microwave the mixture for five seconds at a time. After each five-second heating, use the probe thermometer to check for softening and melting, as well as recording the temperature of the substances. In my experiment, the marshmallows and chocolate melted first, then the jubes. The hard coating of the Smarties began to break apart later, and then they melted. The results show that different model minerals softened and melted at different temperatures. The same is true of real minerals. In the early 1900s, geologist Norman Bowen determined the melting temperatures of the minerals that make up mafic magma. His results are summarized in the very useful Bowen's Reaction Series diagram. We can arrange our model minerals in a reaction series by increasing melting temperature, just like the rocks in Bowen's series. Partial melting of minerals produces different types of magma based on temperature. Cooler magmas have more light-colored felsic minerals in them, as these melt at a lower temperature. The rocks are lighter in color due to the high felsic mineral content, and this also affects the volcanic eruptions. Felsic magmas do not flow well and they trap gases, this leads to explosive eruptions. Hotter magmas have more dark-colored mafic minerals in them, and they form a darker-colored rock. Their temperature may be 600 degrees hotter than felsic magma. The mafic magmas flow smoothly and do not trap much gas, so the eruptions are effusive with lava oozing out rather than exploding. We hope you've enjoyed this Australian Earth Science Education video about partial melting. For more videos, blog posts, and resources, visit our website at ozearthed.com.au.